so hi guys uh, today our topic is cisco aci so aci is a data center technology which uh, full form is application centric infrastructure so it is basically uh, defined by the applications driven by the policies and delivered as a service and solutions so this has different uh, business requirements uh, like uh, networking requirements, compute and storage requirements, and cloud requirements. Uh, these uh, security and services, management and orchestration, and flexible software model. So business outcome is it gives you the efficiency, speed, and digitization. Okay, so it is the hottest technology in the data center environment. So foundational switching platform for the uh, CI is Nexus 9000. It is an industry leading price uh, uh, and performance with port density like uh, fastest 10 gig, 25 gig, uh, up to 100 gig platform. Also, it gives you programmability, open APIs, and uh, it is ideal for DevOps environment also. And 15% better power and cooling, 2.8% uh, better reliability. And even innovation, it is object model, no back plane, no mid plane. So it is healthy scores and it is a multi-billion dollar saving uh, for the existing cables using bi-directional optics so that is the advantage we have in the aci now coming to the aci uh, model aci is having uh, two uh, layers compared to the traditional three layer architecture in the traditional three layer architecture uh, which is known as a network centric model Network centric model means it is having uh, three layers, core layer, distribution layer, and access layer. So where the focus is more on the infrastructure uh, environment rather than on the applications. So to overcome that Cisco developed an architecture which is known as application centric infrastructure. So which is uh, not uh, focusing on the uh, your underlying infrastructure but on the overlay applications so here basically we have two rk and two layers spine layer and leaf layer so it is a much simplified version than the network centric model so in spine layer we use uh, cisco nexus uh, 9k series switches for the spine and leaves okay leaves also we using cisco 9k series switches now uh, coming to the uh, advantage which we have in the spine and leaf architecture is that here you don't need to go to each and individual device and uh, do the configuration all the configuration can be done by the controllers so let's say you have two spines spine one spine two and we have three leaf switches. So it will be connected in a redundant manner. Spine will never connect to a spine. The speed and leaf will never connect to a leaf. So uh, that will be a redundant environment and if a spine wants to communicate with spine 2 they will do via the leaf and with leaves we can connect our bare metal servers or our virtual machines or our layer 2 and layer 3 devices so all the devices will be connected to the leaves not to the spines so that is a very important point in the ci you should remember so now coming to the uh, logical uh, constructs uh, for this we have two type of uh, constructs in aci first is logical construct and another is physical constructs so in the physical constructs we have our switches which are our leaf switches where we connect all our devices so here first uh, we have the interface policies which will be uh, accumulated in an interface policy group. Then it will be uploaded to an interface profile. 
and which will be connected to a switch profile. So switch profile will select you for which switch we are applying these policies. In logical, we have different structure like tenant, uh, bridge uh, VRF, bridge domain, and EPG and point group okay so tenant is a logical construct for every customer you can have a separate tenant or if for a different business unit in enterprise i can have a separate tenant and if i want to communicate between two tenants inter-tenant communication i need to create a contract so anytime you need to communicate with window entities you need a contract so these logical and physical constructs these are attached by one uh, object that is known as AEP, Attachable Access Entity Profile. Attachable Access Entity Profile. So through this, it will be able to connect to the physical and logical construct. So this way, your entire ECI fabric will be created, okay? So let me just show you a demo on this, uh, how we can do in the a real environment so this is our uh, lab port for the uh, aci so yeah just we click on this and we need to browse to our aci ip address lab ip address and uh, dot uh, one dot hundred ten is the ip address so every uh uh, port will be having a separate uh, IP address. So this is, we are using Epic version 4.2, 5K, uh, which is the latest uh, for the application uh, policy infrastructure controller softwares. Here I need to give the username and password. So when uh, you discuss, uh, when you first uh, log in into the Epic, it will give you this window. So here you need to click on begin first time setup. And here we have the fabric membership. We need to click and it will uh, discover all the devices here, whatever spine and leaves are there. So already you can see here, we have uh, one spine and two leaf devices already discovered and status is showing active. So here you can just click on continue. And click on close. So this is the dashboard for the Cisco ACI. And here we have different tabs like system, tenants, fabric, virtual networking, L4, 12, 7 services, admin operations apps and integration so here first in the dashboard uh if you go it will show you the full health of the fabric so here is the system health fault counts by domain fault counts by type like that so here it is given next uh, let if i go to the controllers so controllers we have different type of controllers here so right now we have a pick one but for redundancy i can have three or five uh, controllers and if you want to see the topology in the graphical representation you can see here we have one epic and one leaf is uh, discovered coming to the tenants if i want to create tenants uh, i have to click on tenants tab and by default you can see there are three tenants common infra management if I want to add a tenant, I click on add tenant and here I can give some name to the tenant. Let's say it is Uninet's tenant. Click on submit. So you can see one tenant is already created and it will open the window 
for that. Now here I can create a VR app, I can drag and drop, and I can create a VR app, and I can give some uh, relevant name, Unit's VR app. Submit. So here VR app is created. If I want to associate a bridge domain, drag and drop uh, the bridge domain. And you can create a bridge domain here. Let us say it is Uninets BD. This way I create it. We are up and BD. You can see here unit speed is created. So that is how you can create different objects uh, in the tenant here. That, that is nothing but our logical constructs. Coming to the fabric, uh, in the fabric, we have fabric policies and access policies. So here I can create uh, policies for the fabric. So let us say I want to create interface policies or the link level policies. So I go to the access policies and here in the interfaces, I can uh, create the interface policies. So let us say it is for the leaf interfaces. So you can see policy groups uh, we can create or interface profiles we can create. So here you can see in the policies, the interface policies, we have a link level policies. Uh, policy priority flow controls and different uh, interface features are there. If in the link uh, level uh, already there is a default policy, so if you want to create a link level policy, you can always uh, right click there and just create link level policy. So let us say it is, uh, we keep some relevant name. So let us say it is a auto negotiation we want to off we can keep it off here speed if you want to define you can uh, inherit the default or you can define the speed let us say i want it to 40 uh, gbps uh, port so i find it as 40 gbps click on submit so this way you can see i can create a separate policies interface policies same way I can create a VLAN pools here. So in ACI, every switch uh, will be associated with a VLAN pool. And from the pool, you will select for the particular ports compared to the traditional. In the traditional, uh, we have a separate uh, VLANs for each port. So here we can create some domains. So physical domains for your uh, bare metal servers. So basically it defines what devices we are going to connect to the servers. Okay, so that is uh, how you can go about it.